Hi there, so in this video I'm going to talk about making web components with Svelte. And at first I had no idea why I would want to do this. Was What's the point? You already have Svelte, so why do you need this? But it's really cool and just in the last hour I've come to realize how awesome this is. So let me show you how to make web components. So here I am in a just normal Svelte project. And this is what it looks like. So it's just a button that says click me. You click it, it says thank you. If you click it too many times it says that not that much. Okay, so it's just pretty simple, uh, 23 lines of code. But let's say I want to share my button with the entire world because this thing is so awesome. So I want to make this button a web component that anyone can use, regardless of whether they're using Svelte or not. So first thing I need to do is come here to rollup.config.js. And if you're using Webpack, this should also work in your Svelte loader. So here we're going to do custom element true. That's the first thing. Okay, and let's say we just... We're just going to export this um, this component, okay? So we're not really concerned about having this be a project on its own. We just want to export this component so other people can use it. Okay, so rather than app.svelte, I'm going to call this button.svelte. Save that. So all you have to do in your main.js is import the components that you want to create as web components. So here, let's rename this to button.svelte. Cool. And then the only thing you need to do here at the top or wherever you want of your component is svelte options and then tag equals the name of this component. And you can do tag equals null, um, but you'll, you can look into that yourself. So I'm just going to call this cool button and save that. Okay, so what have I done? What can I do now? So rather than npm run dev, I'm going to do npm run build. I mean, I guess I could do npm run dev. That would work too. But here in public, index.html. So I deleted everything in main.js. So it's no longer mounting it to the DOM here. Right before it was saying, oh, mount it here to body. That's like your target. But now bundle.js is just going to run and it's going to create these web components that I can now use in my HTML. So here, all I have to do is cool button. OK, so I've got my index.html and really so who yeah who cares about any of the css doesn't matter i don't care about this favicon either okay so it's just like a normal index and i've just imported uh it's just a normal html page and i've just imported this bundle.js which was built just now okay so i'm just going to open build or wait what's it called open source slash build no <laughs> whoops open public slash build no, not, not even that. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Open public slash index.html. Oh, no. Where's my button? I'm going to have to redo this whole video. Okay, fail to load source. Okay, I don't have to redo it because I just got to save. I should have auto save on. Oh, and still not found. Okay, we don't want this slash at the beginning because it's there's no longer a server. Okay, sorry. All of that to show you. Here we go. Here We, we have our button now, and this is just normal index.html. All we've done is import this bundle.js, and you'll see it works just like it was before. Okay, so now I can take this bundle.js and just call it, you know, whatever I want. I could call this cool stuff. So let's say I wanted to make another component, like a card. So here I'll do card.svelte, and hopefully I didn't copy anything else, and I can paste. Yep. Okay, so I've already made this. Also has this awesome red border right here. So I've got card.svelte. Um, and it's just, yeah, just a card and it has this button in here, which dispatches high. So there are some things that are a bit different that aren't going to work as web components in Svelte and dispatching events is one of them. So here, say, hi, you're going to need to do it like this, this dot dispatch event, new custom event. And then this will be the actual type of event and composed equals true. So right here is where we're going to put the name of the event and then indent in your index.html or wherever you can add an event listener um, on this element looking for hi. Okay, so I'm going to save this, and then here in main.js, I'll need to import it. So import card from dot slash card felt. And notice also this component needs a... So this is how you make the component ready. Svelte options tag equals cool dash button. And it'll yell at you if this is not at least two words, like something dash something. Okay, so now if I run build, 
this will build a bundle.js that now includes a cool button as well. Okay, because I just I just added this up here and then here main.js open oh, something failed. Uh oopsies. Sorry. Okay, so now in index.html, I'm importing this bundle that was just built there. Although it crashed because I forgot that. And now here I can do pool dash card. Okay, so we have props on our components, right? So in here, when we create them, we have, we're exporting these props. So right now, if we look at this, uh, custom element registry, the name cool button has already been used with this registry. Oh, interesting, okay. Oh, whoops, sorry, I, I am dumb. This is cool card, not cool button, right? So I, I named them both cool button and it didn't like that, right? So, uh, and now I have to run it again, okay. Now we will have a cool button and a cool card. So here in cool card, so let's look at card. Card has export let title, export let content. So if I don't put anything there, it'll just say no title, no content. But I can put here title equals hey, and content equals this is a card about blah, blah, blah. So I save that. So notice I'm not building anything, I'm not changing anything. I'm just using these web components just as normal web components. I save that, it says, hey, this is a card about blah, blah, blah. Count will go up. So this is like an internal thing inside of card. Um, on click, count, plus, plus, count, count shows right here. Uh, and then we have this dispatch event. So how do we handle that? So right now, if I click the dispatch, hi, nothing happens. But it's still dispatching an event. I just need to capture it. So here in my script, stormol index.html. And remember, nothing, none of this is, we're basically dealing with something that, that's not specific to Svelte at all. Although really Svelte in the first place isn't specific to Svelte after you have compiled it. Um, but this lets you, you know, export these things as web components. So here in um, script, I'll do document.query selector cool card. And we'll add an event listener. It's good old classic JavaScript. And it's going to dispatch this high event. So on the high event, we're going to do something with it. So now I can, you know, I can do whatever I want. So maybe I'll just console.log, all of that. So I save that, refresh. Now when I click, you'll see in my console.log, it's consoling all of that. Okay, cool. So there are, yeah, there are some caveat, uh, caveats, caveats um, down here. So if something isn't working, like slots, I was having trouble with slots. I'm not sure if they're going to work. Custom element API, there are some caveats, caveats uh, here. So not everything will work perfectly, but this is just a great way to make web components using Svelte. So if your boss or something says, now nah, we're not going to use Svelte, you can still secretly use Svelte and just export web components and have your own little thing. So maybe after I'm done, I'll have bundle.js and I'll rename it to cool components. So now anyone, any of my friends, they can just... Uh, import this cool components file and use it and they'll automatically be able to use um, cool button and cool card in whatever project they're using okay just in any HTML any web project um, and if you don't want it to be bundle.css or .js you can come here and change the name okay so that is how you make web components let me know if you have any questions I just started working with these so if you have any suggestions or anything like that, leave them in the comments. Please like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you again with another video soon-ish. Okay, bye.